Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will create something more interesting than before. So uh, I find this picture in the internet of course and I find this picture really interesting, I mean concepts. So what I find here interesting, actually this roof. As you can see this roof going from the pathway to the roof and it looks low, so slope and so smooth. So and the first question uh, as you already understand how to create it in Revit. So of course you understand already we can use the ma uh, mass form but how we should create the mass form and how we can create a kind of uh, kind of uh, forms. Uh, for example, sometimes uh, we can uh, use the wall going to the path. I will show you today. So let's get started. And the first thing, as always, I'm going to the Revit, I'm creating the new project. You can use the standard template or you can use my own template, which uh, for, for you can get for free under any video in my YouTube channel. So, but for this project, it doesn't matter which one I use in template. So let's go to the South View straight away and we will create now a reference plane. So let's create the one reference plane here and... oh. I want straight reference plane like this and let's create the second one reference plane for example uh, right here something like that I will do uh, so it's around 8 meters so pretty nice pretty enough I think so and we will change the name of this uh, of this reference um, uh, reference line let's change it to the top and this one to the bottom as you understand uh, now we will uh, switch our view to the uh, side view and let's create here the some geometry. Let's go to the mass inside, switch, or switch on the mass and mass in place ok, let's say ok and straight away we are going to the spline. I will use the spline now, I will change uh, placement plane to the uh, bottom because I want to draw this line on the, on, uh, on the bottom and as you can see this is my uh, reference plane. Uh, let's, let's draw something interesting, like I will draw something like this, this is, will be my wall, my wall turning to the my path and ta-ta, here it will be already pathway. Uh, let's do the same thing but I will change to the top, so again it's going like this. Now it doesn't matter how accurately you are drawing because we can change it always as, a, as I'm doing now actually. So this is, will be pretty same, pretty same angle as you see and now it will be going more far far and more far. Let's do it like this, let's do it gently, okay. So I think this is enough. Let's go now to the uh, back to the south view and let's check. Okay, so uh, as you can see, this is my two lines. So what I'm gonna do now? I will show you in 3D. Let's go to 3D view. Uh, you can see here two lines and I'll select these two lines and create the form. As you can see we get kind of form. So as you can see this part is like a wall and this part is going to the path. Yes I can continue to create it totally flat but this is lesson not about how to create exactly the path. But you understand already uh, how you can do it. Uh, let's I'll change view to the shaded one to properly see what's going on here. Uh, I will select this uh, plane and what I will do the second thing I will create the surface. So this is my surface and now I will change type of the pattern I will change to the one to the half. So something like this let's change the numbers it's we will leave like 15 here and maybe 25 in this side. So 25 it's too much and um, no uh, 15 it's not enough I think. Let's make here the 17 and here we will do 22. So this is what I want, uh, really looks more better and now we should create our uh, our panels. How we can do it? So we should make the first thing, uh, we should create our own pattern. How we can do that? Let's go to the file, new, uh, family, uh, go to the uh, to the uh, bottom to the list and you will find here metric curtain panel but pattern based so this is what I want. Let's open up and straight away just select this uh, uh, this 
pattern. And as you can see, the properties rectangular, we will change one to the half. Now you can see here the six, uh, six, six adaptive points. So we should create pan our panel by this six adaptive point. Uh, okay, so uh, let's go to the, you have this uh, a few ways. You can now create here, for example, form like this and import it to the to uh, Revit. Or you have the other way. So I will show you first this way. So I already create my form. I'm loading to the Revit. Let's go to 3D. And now I will just select this pattern and I'll change it to the family number five. But this type of the um, way bad because if you want to delete some parts of the panels, you cannot do that. So I will show you the second one, which uh, I more prefer than this one. We will go again to the family. We will create the new family. And let's find metric generic model adaptive. It's here. Let's do it. Let's go to the first level or reference level. And doesn't matter how you will, uh, how big you will be your panel here. So just follow me. One, two, three. One two, three. This is really main. So you should continue like this. So the left to the right, after that to the top and from the right to the left. So just remember about that. Let's select everything and let's make adaptive point. Why I did that? Now you can see one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's why I did like that. Uh, now we will use uh, our spline, uh, spline through points and let's create it. One, two, three, escape. Again, one, two, escape, and just let's let's continue. Again, escape here, and one more here. Done. Let's I'll select this thing, and I'll create the form. I will create already form, as you can see, and load it. Let's load it inside our project. Let's load it inside our project, and we get something like this, as you can see, but we will do it on 3D view. Let's go to 3D view. Where is my 3D view? My 3D view is here, but before I will do some few changes. I will select my pattern based, and I will change the mode to the surface, and I will switch off the pattern. And this small button, we will shoot, uh, click on that. Let's click on that, and here you should switch on the nodes. Let's unswitch UV graphics and we need original. Oh no, we need pattern actually. Actually, we need pattern. Let's try it. Pattern again. Let's go back. Uh, just I need pattern line and I don't need UV map. So this is cool. Well, this is what I want. As you can see, this is uh, our panels. Now we can see properly. Let's go back to the creation and here we will find component and this panel what we did. So just follow me. One two, three, one, two, three. Done. Here our panel. Uh, you should place it in this empty, empty hole, not in this one. So you should uh, uh, place it uh, between two, the li two lines. So, and now just one magic, uh, one just one magic uh, tool in Revit. Just select your panel. And as you can see, we have here a repeat. This is array, but uh, it will repeat on a whole our pattern, this panel. So just wait it and ta-ta, congratulations, you did it. So you can see uh, this is now um, our wall and path as, as you, <laughs> how, how you want to call it uh, as you want. And what I can do now with this pattern, and this is really important. I can select uh, now some of this, uh, for example, select your uh, panels, remove repeater, just few seconds, and now we can delete the pattern, panels I mean, sorry. So I can delete the panels, for example, this one I don't need, this one, and create some unique design of your, for example, uh, let's make like this, maybe here like this. Just delete some of the patterns. Let's make something interesting. So, uh, as you understand, we can now go back to the our um, panel. We can create one more panel with different texture, and we can use it on the uh, this empty hole. After that, you're just going to the finish mess, 
and that's it you will get the same uh, the same thing what we planning to do so let's go back to the messing and just switch off our mess now i will go to the visibility graphics and i will switch off it here as you can see we get clear our geometry in revit and this all things this is panels you can delete it even or you can select it even here and get some parameters as you can see uh, so you can also go back so let's switch on and as i said we can create the new panel let's create the new panel i will save this panel let's save it like i don't know new one let's call it new one right and i will do it the green one color let's make it green one um i will create uh, no i will create the parameter and we will change in our family uh, material green let's call it like this and instance don't forget let's say okay let's say okay and let's load it inside to the, our project so here we are in our project so let's go now in 3d view and let's say we want to place it here so do the same thing one two three four five six done let's choose it now we can see where is my our material material green aha uh -huh, here let's change the type of the material for example for green the wall and as you can see we get this is different type material so this is one of the way how you can create some interesting uh, some interesting thing uh, what uh, you what you see before in this when i started this video i hope you find interesting this technique sometimes i'm using it when i need to create something interesting form or when i don't have enough time to create it properly with other tools so this is not wrong this is just one of the way in Revit. I hope it was interesting for you and that's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you soon. And that's it from today. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.